Start with double thick pork chops. Season them on both sides with coarse sea salt. Always high up so you get an even distribution of salt. And freshly ground black pepper. Season on the other side. We're using an heirloom pork variety called Berkshire. That's one of those old time varieties that are raised for flavor, not just yield. To fire the grill, I'm using Fogo Natural Lump Charcoal. It's made with eucalyptus wood from Brazil. And I filled the chimney with the charcoal. When the coals glow orange, they're ready to use. So dump the coals towards the back of the firebox. Then using a grill hoe or garden hoe, rake them into an even layer. And notice I've left the front third of the grill ember free. And now the really cool part, and this never fails to amaze and horrify people, using tongs, lay the pork chops directly on the embers. I call this caveman grilling because back in prehistoric times, people didn't have grills or grill grates. Now the important thing when cavemanning any meat is to keep it moving. And you kind of give it a shake to dislodge any embers that may be adhered to the meat. Obviously, the wow power of this dish is off the charts, but the surface charring, even the tiny bits of cinder, give you a taste experience that's utterly different to conventional grilling. Once the chops are sizzling and browned on both sides, again, give them a shake to dislodge any loose embers and transfer the chops to a wire rack over a sheet pan to rest. Set a cast iron skillet on the coals and add about a quarter of an inch of extra virgin olive oil. Add a slice of shallot to the oil and when bubbles dance, the oil is hot enough. Add thinly sliced shallots, yellow bell peppers, poblano chilies, thinly sliced jalapeno chilies for heat, and red bell peppers for color, and finally, chopped fresh mint. And stir these ingredients together so they fry evenly. Once the peppers and shallots are golden brown, transfer the pan to a trivet. Finally, with a basting brush, brush any loose ash off the pork chops. Then I'll arrange them on a platter. Last of all, spoon the mixed pepper pan fry over the caveman pork chops. You know the drill. Let's see how we did. Take a pork chop. Take a cut. And you can see the pork is perfectly cooked. Just a little blush of pink in the center. Mm. The outside is crusty and smoky. The inside as moist as you could wish for. Nice kick from the jalapenos and poblanos. So now you know how to grill extreme. 